Hi dear one, welcome to Focal Academy. See in this problem, here a capacitor was connected across with a voltage source that is 20 volts. That is 20 volt source is connected across a 3 picofarad capacitor. And asking that how to find charge stored and energy stored in a given 3 picofarad capacitor. This is the problem. Now how can you find charge and energy stored in the given capacitor whenever the problem will be given like this. Let's see here. First of all, we are going to find charge. So charge is represented with symbol Q. Q equal to in the given problem, this is capacitance and this is the voltage. So let capacitance is represented with C and voltage is V. Now here voltage is given, capacitance given and asking that charge. So just recall the relation between these three parameters. Is there any standard relation or direct relation? Yes, there is a direct relation. That is Q equal to C V. C is 3 pico Faraday. Pico means 10 power minus 12. Next voltage is 20 volts. So by simplifying this we will get 60 pico coulombs. So unit of charge is coulombs. C means coulombs. Next we are going to find energy. Energy. So first of all recall the relation between energy and voltage and capacitance. Is there any relation? Yes, there is that relation. That is of CV square. This is the diet formula for finding energy stored in a capacitor. So that is equal to half of C means capacitance. That is 3 picofarad. 3 into 10 power minus 12 into V means voltage. That is 20. A square is there. 20 square. Remember 20 into 20. So 2 ones, 2 tens. So that's equal to 3 into it becomes 200 into 10 power minus 12. That's equal to so this value is 600. So this is nothing but pico. So just like as P and units of energy is joules. Pico joules. So 600 pico joules is the energy stored in the given capacitor across 20 volts. And this is the process of simplification. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share. Thanks.